to Subi's Kitchen. I'm a registered dietitian and I'm getting ready for a big, big kitchen renovation. So I'm going to be making these videos to kind of chronicle what I'm doing to get ready because I like to eat good food. I don't want to be eating in a restaurant all the time and I think this reno is going to take about five weeks. And you know what they say, it's probably going to be longer. So I'm trying to prepare some things to have in my freezer so that I can eat good food without a kitchen. Uh, maybe just a microwave and a sink, which I have in the laundry room and maybe a little toaster oven. So today I'm doing one of my um, preps for this and it's gonna be a turkey meatloaf. So I've got here some ground turkey, a pound. I'm gonna put all the uh, proportions on, on Subi's Kitchen. I've got onion, I got some organic carrots from the farm. I've got some organic celery, ketchup, uh, some sriracha, and then I'm also going to put an egg in here and a little bit of a binder. Like instead of breadcrumbs, I'm going to use a little almond flour. So I'll be right back. So while I am chopping up some of my veggies, I'm going to get my pan nice and hot. First, you know, sometimes people see vegetables like this and they, they get overwhelmed because um, they have all the... Uh, you know, this, the um, greenery on there, you're not gonna eat that. Um, maybe some people do, I do not, but I'm just gonna take it off and I'm gonna get rid of it. And sometimes you could do that before you even put it in the refrigerator so you'd be more apt to use it. Because one of the things when you're cooking is you need to make things convenient for yourself. Because, you know, I work a lot. Um, I'm a dietitian and I also, I work full time as a dietitian, but I'm also a realtor. So I am always working. So I have to figure out how to make sure that I have good food around all the time. Cause I, I, I mean, I like to eat out sometimes, but I don't, I like my own food better, quite honestly. And it really frosts me when I spend a lot of money on a meal and it's not really good and I can make it better. Plus, they're going to be adding a lot of extra things, like really a lot of extra fat. Fat is good for you, but only, you know, you don't need to overload it. Plus a lot of sodium. You can control your own things at home. So um, I like to just have a lot of stuff on hand. So now I'm, I've got the carrots. I don't peel them. I'm just going to chop them lightly, like or coarsely, whatever you want to say. And then I'm going to put them in my food processor. Because one of the things with turkey meatloaf is it can be dry. So I'm gonna, whoops, this is a bigger one. Food processor is your best buddy in the kitchen, okay? So I've got a half an onion in there already, and I'm gonna put these carrots in there. Now in my new kitchen, oh, it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna have a nine foot island. You're not even gonna recognize this place. Not at all. So now I'm gonna buzz this up. All right, so you can make it as fine as you would like. Um, I am actually making it, as you can see, it's pretty fine, but not pulverized, not like pureed. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute this, onion, carrot, celery, and then I'm gonna add it back to the turkey meatloaf. So it gives it a lot of moisture and flavor and a lot of nutrition. Some extra virgin olive oil in here. Yeah, celery pulverized is a little bit quicker than the carrot. Now this is just an egg I'm gonna put in here while that's all sauteing. So in here, I'm going to put the ketchup. Let's see, probably about a quarter cup, maybe third of a cup. And I'm gonna put a little sriracha in here because I like things a little spicy. And my family likes things a little spicy. It's a little more interest. And then um, once I, oh, the Worcestershire sauce. My celery, onions, and carrots are finished cooking. I've been letting them cool off while I made a salmon recipe for tonight. And now I'm gonna just dump it in. You can let it cool off completely. You can make the vegetable part, put it in the fridge till you want to make it tomorrow. Really, there's no rules and it makes things a lot easier if you just are doing something else and then you can kind of prep some of these things so that it saves you time. And then when you can get to it, you get to it. Let's see, my pan is a little bit, the handles get hot. I'm gonna have to get all new pans when I get my new kitchen. I need to do some research to see what is going to be the best for my lifestyle. 
I don't like hot handles. But I like them to be able to go in the oven if they need to, so I don't really want rubber handles. So, you see the dilemma. I like to think about function and how I'm gonna do things, always. All right, so now I'm just gonna mix this in kind of quickly so that it kind of changes the temperature and doesn't cook the egg. All right, I think that's probably good enough. Now, what I'm gonna do is, you know, you can put breadcrumbs in here if you want to. I kind of trying to not always eat as much starch. I just need to bind it. I don't really need bulk, right? Especially because I have all the vegetables in there. So I'm gonna use some almond flour, which doesn't really have that much of a taste. But um, I think it works pretty good. Now there's also almond meal, which is ground almonds. It's not, it doesn't, um, it's a little more gritty though. So if you were doing something like this, you might want to use the flour. So now I think it's good enough because when it cooks, it really does firm up because I have the egg in there. Okay. So it's going to look like it's kind of loose, but we don't want it to be dry. So now I've got these four little pans. I know there's five. Hmm. Bonus, just do a little olive oil in each one, not a lot, just to give it a little coating. So I think that's it for today. And uh, I hope you enjoy these videos and that they make your life simpler, prepping things ahead of time, uh, eating good food, is very important, you know, obviously I'm a dietitian, so I think it's important, but you know, also for your health, I have multiple sclerosis. So, you know, some, the things that I do for my body are huge, have been hugely helpful for me, I believe over the years. So you don't want to start when you're 60, you want to start when you're 20, um, 20, 30, it's never too late to start, but the sooner you start, the better you're off you're gonna be when you are older and you need, um, you know, or you have to be around anyway. So you might as well have a good quality of life and be able to do stuff, right? So my goal is to continue walking. So, so far I'm doing okay. So I'm trying the turkey meatloaf. It looks really good. I'm down in the family room because we're in demo now, so I don't have a kitchen. So I'm just uh, thawed it out and then I baked it in my toaster oven and now I'm eating it. Oh yeah, it's great. Not dry at all. All those vegetables. The next time on Subi's Kitchen, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode.